Bring the Olympic Games back to LA in 2028 reaches the final stretch today. The city council gives it the green light, but not everyone is cheering. CBS 2's Jeff Nguyen joins us live outside City Hall in downtown with that decision. Jeff. Pat and Jeff, a lot of people at City Hall are very excited about the games coming back to town, but critics say we should pour more energy towards helping the homeless. No, 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 no. No, we've had, but no, 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 we're not going to do this. LA City Council President Herb Weston faced pushback as he called for a vote to approve the 2028 Summer Olympics coming to Los Angeles. That is approved. That is unanimous. Many issues have been raised in this process. Damian Goodman wasn't willing to accept the unanimous vote during a news conference at City Hall. He tried to speak to reporters, but organizers cut the mic and police walked him out. Goodman says this decision was done without public comment. This decision was ramrodded through without uh, an opportunity for public comment. We've been working on this for two years. The committee had over 30 hearings. Uh, the uh, LA 24 had over 30 hearings. The Los Angeles City Council had close to 12 hearings. What the Olympics means to us and to this city is what every human being yearns for. LA Mayor Eric Garcetti spearheaded the charge to bring the games here. But he too was heckled. Critics say recent Olympic Games have been financial burdens to host cities like Rio, Athens, and even Sydney, which lost more than a billion dollars. LA says that won't happen here because we already have stadiums and venues in place, whereas the others had to build them from scratch. Olympic legend Carl Lewis says the games hosted here in 1932 and 1984 were both profitable. The last games had a surplus. They still have money from that games. The 32 games was extremely successful. And the chairman for LA 2028 says that the city will get about $2 billion from the International Olympic Committee for hosting the games. Now back to you. Jeff Nguyen reporting live for us in downtown tonight, Jeff. Thanks.